hello everybody uh, in today's video we are going to check the DC motors and here we have two motors the first one is okay this is okay to a motor and this motor is faulty but the question is how to check uh, either our motor is good or not so uh, what you have to do you must have uh, the bridge rectifier so here I have the bridge rectifier and in market you can find this uh, thing in the it's a bridge rectifier and if you can see here we have the marking of AC that's alternating current and here is the marking of plus so if we look uh, from this position here's the positive and the front side of this is negative so this one is positive and across this point this is negative similarly here is the alternating current point this one and same this point is alternating current so this one is for AC and this one is for AC and this one is for the positive DC volt and here is the volt negative so in uh, DC uh, uh, current uh, direct current uh, it's a uh, very necessary to identify you from the uh, uh, the positive and the negative because the polarity is very much important in DC current that's the direct current and uh, if we talk about the alternating current uh, it's not necessary so like if you uh, are going to connect the alternating current you can connect any of wire here and any of wire here but if you are going to connect the motor which is the DC you must have to connect uh, the red wire with the positive and the negative or the black wire with this negative so here uh, I have yes here we have this is the ok motor and I am going to connect here is the red for the positive I am going to connect it with the positive and here is the negative and I am going to connect it with negative and here you can see they are across not side by side so and here we uh, are left with the two points and we are going to connect with alternating current uh, in uh, my setup what I do I have uh, connected these wires with crocodile clamps and I have connected this alternating current with uh, the series circuit so when I short these two points yes yes okay so one, once we short these two points my 200 watt bulbs glows so now I'm going to connect this point and this point and here you can see motor has been started and you can see the behavior of that bulb and uh, with the passage of time the glow of this bulb will down because the ampere drawn by this motor will be reduced with the passage of time so you can see and even you can witness the sound of this motor and uh, it's increasing its speed and since the speed is increasing you can see the bulb or this is going down so this the motor So uh, since the, this bulb is uh, connected with this motor in series circuit and uh, it can draw only the power uh, not more than the power of uh, or the wattage of that bulb. So this uh, bulb is uh, of 200 watt so this motor cannot draw the power more than 200 watts. So 
So this is the behavior of good motor. So here the RPMs are very much good. The sound is fine and the glow is almost good. So, so here we have another motor uh, with this and we will connect this motor and check the behavior of this. Okay, and now I'm going to check this motor and uh, I'm not going to tell you either it's okay or not. You will witness and then you will decide either this motor is okay or not. So I have uh, connected the positive with this and negative with this. So since this motor uh, did not have uh, thimbles, so I use the crocodile clamps. So I'm going to connect this and uh, and here you can witness it's not rotating and and you here you can see so now you have to define the behavior of this motor either it's okay or not so what do you think is this okay or not so the decision is yours and uh, obviously it's not working and uh, this motor is faulty and we must have to go for the rewinding of this motor so the faulty motor behaves uh, like this and uh, here you can see the glow of the bulb and there is maximum glow means the 200 watt is being drawn since the bulb is 200 watt and it's maximum drawn and uh, if you look at the motor there's no response like uh, in the form of movement but uh, it's a uh, sounding it uh, there is a some some uh, some sort of sound from inside the motor but uh, i think uh, do you uh, you can't witness this sound uh, uh, from my mobile because uh, it's uh, the sound is very much low but uh, i i can feel this since i have uh, uh, grabbed this motor so uh, by using this method you can check your motor either it's working or not so this bridge rectifier is uh, very cheap and you can find this uh, uh, from anywhere in the market but uh, be careful and uh, because if you connect uh, your uh, wire direct into the socket of either 110 volt or 220 volt and if the motor is short your circuit breaker will go down due to the high ampere drawn so uh, in this case uh, no breaker is be uh, is getting shot off because i have connected this motor in series and it's drawing 200 watts so if i connect this motor with uh, this uh, direct 220 volt without any series it will uh, draw the maximum power either 10 amperes 20 amperes or 30 ampere and the breaker uh, the circuit breaker will go down so that's the science behind, uh, behind this and uh, by using this technique you can check your dc motors thank you very much for watching this video